Hi, everyone. This is Sean with the Mass Support Network here with your COVID-19 update for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. Developments today, of course, the biggest news is that uh, AstraZeneca has released the results of its study, its vaccine in the United States, with over 32,000 participants, uh, showing that it was 79% uh, effective in preventing symptomatic disease. Uh, however, it is shown to be fully effective against severe disease, hospitalization, and death, which is the important metric there. Uh, it may be applying for a UA, uh, EUA, emergency use authorization, here in the United States shortly. Uh, however, uh, that may not be much of a factor for us here in the United States because uh, by the time that it would be approved and in production uh, distribution here in the United States, we are likely to have plenty of the Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson uh, vaccine. Uh, however, one complication uh, new this morning is that uh, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease released a statement uh, in the last couple of minutes, basically, saying uh, that uh, their uh, Data and Safety Monitoring Board has expressed concern that AstraZeneca may have included outdated information uh, in that trial, which may have provided an incomplete view of the efficacy data. So uh, that additional concern is just one more uh, problem for AstraZeneca, which has continued to face all sorts of problems in its testing and rollout. Uh, Dr. Fauci called it, uh, quote, an unforced error uh, that it seems like it's probably a fairly effective vaccine that just the way that they've been uh, running and presenting the data has been uh, consistently inconsistent, unfortunately, um, such that uh, it has made their credibility uh, kind of drop for a while and uh, thrown up a lot of roadblocks to what seems to be a fairly effective vaccine getting out there. Uh, there this was something that was on Monday, uh, people were talking about this being a big win for AstraZeneca uh, as to finally have an untainted study uh, without any issues like they had in the fall with dosing uh, inconsistencies, but now it seems like that might not be the case now either. Again, uh, it won't probably affect us here in the United States, but uh, that may have repercussions for uh, AstraZeneca's rollout around the world uh, as a more shelf-stable vaccine than the mRNA vaccines that we typically are using here. Uh, it has great potential for uh, distribution uh, around the world, but again, these continued unforced errors uh, may slow that down. Another news on Friday, the CDC uh, released guidance on schools saying that uh, three feet of distancing rather than six feet of distancing between students is uh, enough. Uh, there's some controversy this course, uh, some people saying that this uh, isn't enough, some people say that six feet wasn't enough to begin with due to aerosol spread, people saying that this is as good as you can get uh, and still actively have any number of people in a classroom to the point that it's worth going back in person. Uh, but with this guidance, uh, it may lead towards uh, schools uh, being more able to reopen at capacity, uh, especially as teachers are being vaccinated. Uh, in terms of the vaccinations right now, uh, so far 156 million vaccine doses have gone out to the states. We've gotten 3.3 million of those here in Massachusetts. So a total of 126 million vaccines have gone into arms around the country with 3 million here in Massachusetts, just crossing the 3 million mark as of yesterday. Uh, and so we come to people vaccinated. Uh, I look at just the adult population as uh, most vaccines are not approved uh, for people uh, younger than 18, and those that are, just the Pfizer, are only for 16 plus. So 82.5 million people, representing 32% of the adult population, have received at least one vaccine in the country. Here in Massachusetts, we're at 36% of our adult population, or 2 million people, and 44.8 million people have been fully vaccinated. That's either two doses of the mRNA vaccines or one dose of Johnson & Johnson. Here in Massachusetts, it's about 1 million, accounting for just under 20% of the population. 
Uh, and uh, last week I showed you this chart, it's the New York Times estimate of when uh, people at the current rate that we're giving vaccines will get at least one dose. Uh, and this, I just wanna show where things stood last week with that chart and then where they are today as the pace is accelerating. Uh, so it's, uh, we've shaved about a week off of the timeline here in the last week uh, with 50% four days earlier, 7% six days earlier, and 90% uh, of the population vaccinated a full week earlier. Now, the New York Times, I believe, uses uh, the full United States population for its data rather than the adult population. So I wouldn't be surprised if it actually hits that point a little sooner when we're talking about the actual eligible people for vaccinations. Um, so that is uh, very promising for uh, summer, at the very least a fall, that, that looks something like we'd like it to. One final thought, let's go into our week. Just a quick comic that cracked me up this morning. As always, our sources come from the CDC, mass.gov, and the New York Times. And for more from the Mass Support Network, you can find us on our website or on social media. And remember, wear your mask, wash your hands, and we'll be there if you need us. Stay safe.